Hello friends, in this video I want to show you how to use the pie chart in Microsoft Excel. First of all, I'll ask you to like it and subscribe. Thank you. Let's start. For example, in this spreadsheet we have a list of how many apples each person has, and also the total number of apples at the end. If I want to create a pie chart with this data, the first step is to select the data for the chart. I am highlighting columns A and B. To do this, I'll click and hold the mouse, then drag to select columns A and B. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift plus left click. We don't highlight the line total, so that word works correctly. Next, I go to the Insert tab, which lists the various charts, including a pie chart. Click on it and choose which of the diagram you want to see in your document. 2D Pi, 3D Pi or done chart. For example, I'll choose 3D Pi. I click on it and it appears on the spreadsheet. To customize your chart, I recommend viewing the chart options by clicking chart design. I'll review the most important settings, but you can customize your pie chart to your liking. So there is an option to add chart elements. Clicking the button Add Charts Elements, I can remove the chart title by selecting None or reposition it to be centered over the pie chart. I choose Above Chart and change the title. Within the Add Chart Element button, I can also include data labels. As you see, you can choose options like Center, Inside and, Outside and, Best Fit and Data Callout. The Best Fit option, in my opinion, is the most informative. I'll change the font for better clarity. Next, the function of the Quick Layout button, with which you can quickly customize the layout by hovering over various parameters and clicking. I'll choose this one. It should also be noted that the numbers in the chart have been replaced with percentages. OK, click the Change Colors button to select different color schemes. Moving further along the ribbon, you can choose a style for your chart. Next to the chart styles, I have options to manipulate the data, such as switching up the data, switching rows and columns, or selecting different data. And I'll show you one interesting feature. If you have a chart like this and some parts of your chart are very small, to make them more visible, you can use this option. Click on the Change Chart Style button, here you can change your pie chart to something new or click on the pie line and select Pie of Pie and add a small chart on the right. So now our small parts of the diagram are much more visible and put into a separate diagram. Use this guide to build your charts. Thanks for watching and see you later.